Chief Edwin K. Clark tackles Charles Aniago in Delta State says he has put Okoa into more trouble than good. <laughs> All of them that are calling themselves uh, party spokespersons, both in PDP, in APC, and everywhere, they are if they are if they are actually the people putting the party uh, various parties into bigger trouble. If you go to APC, you see people like FFK and. Uh, uh, the Bayo Nanoga and uh, Fesos Kayamu, and these are the people that have talked PDP, I mean, the APC into big problem as well. Okay, yeah, if you go to PDP, you will see people like uh, uh Dino Melaye, who is now vying to be the governor of Kugi State, and uh, who else again is there? Those are the people that are speaking on behalf of the party. So this one that we are seeing uh, Charles Anago speaking again for PDP in Delta State and speaking for uh, uh, the governor of Delta State, Chief Ifanyo Koa, I uh, don't see any of them being different. So let's see why uh, Chief Edwin Clark is saying that uh, Charles Anago has uh, done more harm than good to Okoa uh, while in office. In an interview with TVC News, Sir Edwin Clark, elder statesman, tackled Charles Aniago, uh, Delta's former commissioner for information, for saying he accused Okoa of lying and that all he claimed was false. Uh, Sir Edwin Clark remarked that he has no idea who he is, but he has gotten the former Delta state governor into greater difficulties. Exactly. Exactly. He said that. He was among those who ensured Okoa's election as governor, giving him the authority to question his administration. So he went on to say that the former governor withheld the 13% derivation meant for the people, making them suffer unnecessarily. He also added that people are pleading with him to let Okoa go now uh, that, uh, that his administration is over. Okay, He did, however claimed that Okoa had crossed the line and should be held to account for the money meant for the people. So this money, money, money is still the problem between Okoa and Chief Edwin Clark. Okay, because some of these chiefs actually, they really don't have anything they are doing again. They are waiting for government to give them the stipend they are going to give them for one reason or for being one thing or the other. And this is the reason Nigeria is actually not moving forward. Sharing, sharing, sharing. And if these people that have worked hard are getting their pensions and their remunerations normal, normally, okay, I think people wouldn't be interested in, you know, getting involved with government to share proceeds rather than investing the money for the well-being of the citizens of the state or the country. Okay, uh, Chief Edwin Clark, uh, we need to understand uh, his own part of this continuous anger, the money, 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 because most likely. When good luck was there, he enjoyed himself and Ayori Shejafu were practically living at Abuja. Okay? And other tribes, especially people from the Delta North, were 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 disenfranchised. Okay? They were disenfranchised. And at that time, nobody was looking at anybody. And that time, who was the governor? The governor was uh I think the governor was uh what is his name? Uh Manuel Odwana. Okay, who ruled for eight years without having anything to show for it? The same way we are talking about the country. Uh, when uh, when uh, Ibori was there, Ibori did a lot of infrastructures in the state, but though with a very heavy amount of corruption on his neck as well. But immediately Ibori left, he looked, he, uh, Odoha entered, Odoha, Ibori became better. We, everybody was giving credit to Ibori for what he did because Ibori employed a lot of uh, data stage university graduates into the government uh, offices and paid everybody's pension and paid every, paid salaries. But Odonga, we don't know what he did for eight years and his administration became the worst. After eight years, now the position now came back to Delta North. Now in Delta North, we've seen how Okoa has performed as well. But at the end of the day, when you look at the amount of money these people have expended in the administration, in working for the people, you will see that what they have achieved is not commensurate to the amount of money they have received. And this is not just only with Delta State, it's across the entire country. Okay, all the governors 
in the country are getting monthly allocation from the federal government. Now the question is, compare what they have achieved to the amount of money they have received for the given period, and you will know that there's no need to sing their praises because they must have stolen more than they have used for the benefit of the people. So <laughs> I don't understand why this is an issue here because uh, the overhaul is only not going to be data state, it's going to be across the country. It's really going to be across the country. Whether, uh, so what uh, 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 Chief Edwin Clark is still saying here, he said, whether I help Okoa become governor or not, he says, as a leader of the South and of the people in Delta State, I must ask questions. So people are in pain. When the vice president came to uh, Okirikuku to visit Maritime University, he joked. He was joking, okay? So I thought you would like to buy it because of the oil we are producing. Consult the vice president. So Koa is lying. This Anyago, I have no idea who he is. Okay, has gotten him into uh, even more trouble. They are now pleading with me to please let him go. No, I responded. He had crossed the lines and the people need their money. So that means people are pleading with uh, Edwin Clark to allow Okoa go because now that his tenure has finished and someone else has entered. But you say, no, he must be held accountable. He must give account of the money that he has received. On behalf of the people, I must tell Nigerians what I mean, uh, the people of Delta, what he has done with the money he received on their behalf in the state. Okay, but uh, where is he going to get uh, uh, and uh, what is his name? Uh, Kowa to come and give account. These people have done their part and they have moved on, and it's going to be difficult, except the governor, the current governor of the state, is going to call them back to prove them or send EFCC to go after them. Without that, I don't think anything is going to happen. I don't think even uh, the shouting that Edwin Clark is shouting will produce result. Okay? So, the only problem I have with some of our politicians, even including Edwin Clark, is that when the going is juicy for them, you will not hear their voice. They will sing the praises of the person, irrespective of the fact that they are, the rest masses may not be benefiting. But when it's no longer juicy with them, you will see reactions left, right, and center, and that time they become, uh, uh, what do you call them? Uh, motivational speakers and people who, who behave like people who want justice for the people. So I'm struggling to see how they can get to go about to come and give account of the money he has received. Okay, so there are a few comments here. Somebody saying this matter, please, as a leader in Delta State, take this issue to the president because more hunger is coming to Delta State until PDP is rooted out of the state totally. Okay. <laughs> So, so it's not only PDP. Even the APC government is the same problem. It's the same problem, the same problem all over the country. Okay. So all that politicians that we have now, you can see what is happening in Zamfara State. Okay. Yeah, you can also see how other states have uh, spent uh, spent their money without uh, giving accounts. Now uh, they are beginning to go after each other one by one. So that is what Chief Edwinkak is saying, that uh, Charles Aniago, uh, the former commissioner for communication in Delta State, has done more harm than good to the former governor of the state, Chief Ifani Okoa. And they must come and give account of the money that they have received on behalf of the people. Otherwise, he's not going to let them rest. So let's have your take in this matter. And uh, thank you for listening.